to your Shag Dog Spit Swallow Beer Review. Uh, we're doing Modelo Cerveza, Modelo Especial. Uh, some of my Mexican friends might like this one. Maybe even some of my Gringo friends. This one on Beer Advocate gets a total of uh, 60, 66, 67 by Beer Advocate. It's an adjunct lager. 4.4% ABV. Uh, it's year round. It's brewed by Grupo Modelo SA de CV, Mexico City, or Ciudad de Mexico, Mexico. Mexico City, Mexico, for all of you who don't speak Spanish. Um, I don't speak too good Spanish either. Damn, I barely speak English. Uh, I did this one a, a jammer two, three times, maybe once or twice by myself. So this, I figured, well, I bought one the other day or last week. Why not, right? Now, before I pour it, love the can, imported beer, Cerveza Modelo. It's got two lions, and the, the two lions are looking at you. They're holding the low the thing up, but they're like looking at you while they're holding it up. It's pretty cool. And it says Cervecia Modelo Mexico, which means beer Modelo Mexico, right? And it says, oh shit, 1925. So it's been around since 1925. I'll read the bottom part of the can after I pour it because it's. My eyes aren't as good as they used to be. I have to tilt the can to read it, especially with small print. And a golden, full flavored Pilsner style lager with a clean, crisp finish. That's what it says on the bottom of the can. So that's cool. Uh, Modelo, not bad. I mean, I, I love the Negra also. Most of their beers that they make, you know, pretty good. Uh, you know, of course, the I mean, Modelo itself is, uh, they got Australia, Corona, all the Corona beers they make. Modelo has to be my favorite by them. Uh, they also make Pacifico uh, and Victoria. Yeah, so Modelo is, I like Modelo way better than Corona. She's got more of a full flavor. Doesn't got as much cardboard taste, whatever it is Corona has. Now, it's darker than your typical regular adjunct lager. It's pretty dark, actually, for an adjunct lager. So, now I'm live here on YouTube, but I also put the link on my Facebook page, just in case anybody on Facebook wants to join. I don't think anybody will click on it. To join because you know, yeah, you know, friends are most of them are in friends, acquaintances. Matter of fact, I mean, I wish I could have a beer with you know some people on Facebook that are out of state or working all the time or whatever. Some good buddies I've had over the years, you know, like, you know I'm not going to mention all their names, but I'll mention where they are. That's a good state of New York where I lived in the southern tier. Not this kind of tier. T I E R. Um, New York, Wilkes Bar, Pennsylvania. Um, all my Army brothers, Fort Monmouth, New Jersey, Corazon, Panama, and from Fort Hood, Texas, and even some of the ones I went to basic at AIT. In. And AI, uh, Fort Jackson, South Carolina, which I don't have, I haven't found any of those guys on Facebook at all. But that's okay. Uh, matter of fact, most of the guys I went to Fort, I was only at Fort Hood for 11 months, and a lot of those guys I came to find on Facebook. I found a couple of them on back on MySpace when MySpace is out, well, but when I converted it to Facebook, I haven't found any of them. But I do have some of my bros from New Jersey and Panama. I did lose one friend that I was stationed with in Panama. Also, he came to Fort Hood about three months after I did. He went to a different unit, but we still hung out a couple times. Thought we were good friends, but political differences. Yeah. Anyhow, back to the beer, right? Uh, dark. I've been sipping it already. 
has a good adjunct lager taste smell. It, it does smell like a corny, I must say, like a strong corn. Um, more than some other beer. Maybe a little bit of cardboard smell in there. Corn, faint notes of bready malts. Um, can't really describe what else is in there. It doesn't smell bad. It does have a little bit of that cardboard, like you would get for a, from a, some Caribbean beers, or maybe a Red Stripe is one. Not as bad as Red Stripe, but a little bit of that cardboard malty smell, I guess you would consider that corny. I just took you out. Don't lay down. I'm gonna close this. Hold on. Hold on. Get the puppy in here. You wanna come in here? You gotta let you in and you behave. Come on. If you wanna behave, come on in. You can lay right next to me and do whatever you want. All right, it's okay. Just, just drinking a beer, Dally. I mean, I don't know how my camera got up so high, but we're going to move that back down. Okay, that might be good. Yeah. There you go. Uh, no views yet, no viewers. That's okay. Shag dog don't mind. I don't have to be that popular to start off with, right? Um, love me or hate me. Most of you hate me. That's okay with me, though. It doesn't hurt my feelings. So that, in all essence, we love each other. Good beer, though. Uh, I wasn't going to do this, this one. I drank two Yinglins while I was out with did it earlier, and I did a review of a Budweiser, and now I'm on Modelo. I gotta do laundry and some other stuff, but I figured, well, I can wait till the morning. Um, that's pretty cool. Nobody from Facebook will join in here, but that's okay. That's a little comment. If I can. Let's see. Yeah. Am I going to let me comment on this? Okay, there we go. put that on a regular post. Now nobody, I have good buddies, you know, uh, my one step cousin, we can call each other cousins because we used to live next to each other and grew up for a couple of years with each other. Uh, he would probably drink a beer with me right away, but he has heart issues, so I'm sure he doesn't drink at all anymore. Uh, many, many people would love to drink beer with the shag dog, but apparently they don't want to. <laughs> Maybe they remember what kind of drunk I am. Well, yeah, I have gotten plastered a few times over the years. But anybody I harmed or might have hurt their feelings or whatever when I was drinking back in my young days, I ask for your forgiveness, and I, I'm sorry. I, a lot of you have actually helped me get home, back to the barracks, you know, took care of me. Sometimes I had to fend for myself, but I'm still here today, so that's the, the good thing about all of it, right? 
Anyhow, uh, wow, no viewers. You know what? Dolly is not very happy about this. Uh, she thought there was going to be more viewers. I told her it would be a lot. A lot of people watching Dolly. You can't come in there. But that's okay. Elder Scrolls. Oh, yeah. Well, it's every deacon. Burn, baby, burn. Okay, I'm sorry. I was browsing. I deleted all that out. I was browsing Facebook and I saw something. So. Yeah, my brother posted up my my uh, eldest brother passed away ten years ago today. So it's a bittersweet day. Uh, but you like to have, remember the good memories and stuff. This day was not his life. It was just the day he died and he left his life and went on to the next one, really. We missed him since then. So it's, I guess you, on the day, anniversary of a death day, I guess you celebrate their life every year. So my brother played the song, DMK, slipping. Or VMX, that'd be okay. <laughs> uh, the? Cowboy fans, brace yourself. Totally new helmet designs for all Halloween oh, yeah, NFL teams. There's a must see for Cowboys, Pats, and more. I just can't see them doing the Cowboys justice. The, the Titans and the, the Titans? I don't know if that's supposed to be Titans. The Steelers look pretty cool. Don't have a red in it, it's just yellow. Black and white, or so I can't tell if it's white or silver. It might be silver, yellow, black, and silver. A tight is a tight. Here, I'm going to share this. What the hell? We're doing a beer review, right? If I can find my damn stream there page. Okay, let's share screen. Windows Chrome tab, right? Uh, Okay, that should be it. All right, streaming. All right, okay, there we go. Let's see if we can make that bigger somehow. I don't think we can. I don't think we can make it bigger. You gotta be on certain screen for that. Ah, uh, that sucks. All right, there we go. Okay. All right, so there's the Tennessee Titans. That looks pretty tight. I like that. Even though it has nothing, it looks like blue with flames, really. It doesn't say, hey, the Titans, you know, which are giants, really. I guess Greek God, Greek God giants. Okay, Arizona Cardinals. Here we go. All right, that's pretty good. 
Yeah. I mean, you can't do much with the Cardinals anyhow, so yeah, you got to do something else besides Cardinals. Nice little center design. Next, we got the Colts. Not bad. The, the C almost looks like a horseshoe, so that's pretty cool with the little holes in it. So, I mean, yeah. Um, next. There's the original on that one. That's pretty good. Baltimore Ravens, pretty sweet, actually. Yeah, I like that. Would they do it? No. Not enough black in there, right? Black and purples. I mean, there's too much gold there, so they might not. They wouldn't accept that, probably. Detroit Lions, pretty nice. All right, next, the Rams, yeah, not bad. I mean, what can you do, right? So they went opposite, they went yellow with blue horns instead of uh, blue with yellow, plus there's a gap there, part of the horn there. Uh, uh. All right, Falcons. Nice, like the original red, black and white stripes in the center. Yeah, not much different, but a little bit. Jaguar is pretty nice. I mean, these new shapes of the helmet is kind of what does it actually for some of them. Buccaneers, yeah. I, I can't tell. Is that like kind of a? That's not pewter. That's not the Buccaneer old school Buccaneer orange, but I guess it's like a new kind of like. Creamy orange. I don't know what the hell to call it, kind of orange. But yeah, that'd be pretty nice. That'd be cool. Especially the, the new skull, you know, the skull and crossbones. That's pretty cool. Carolina Panthers. Nice. Didn't change the Panther up too much, but Bengals, yeah, that would actually do good. For, the Bengals need a new helmet. And that would probably do it three stripes. Instead of the way they got their helmets with the stripes. I mean, yeah, that was cool when it first came out. Like, what was that, 35 years ago or something? 35, 40 years ago? I can't remember when they came out with striped helmets. But they needed something. And that would actually be pretty good. That B with the stripes. And yeah, that looks pretty nice. Houston, Texas. That's pretty good, actually, right there. Like horns, like the long horns, and then... Star, Texas Star, I guess. I don't know. Pretty cool. Next. Chargers, light blue, light and bolt. Yeah, I've been done before, but not kind of like that with the light and bolt, so that kind of helps insinuates the light and bolt a little bit more yellow, blue, white. I like it. There's not much you can do with it, light and bolt, yeah. Broncos, oh, pretty nice. Old school to D with the Bronco in the center, white helmets. Yeah, I like that. Come out with that, please. Not that I'm a Broncos fan, I'm not. But yeah, that's pretty nice. Old school D, a lot bigger than the original. But white. And the horse is blue instead of white. And then that orange D has a blue outline instead of white. And then you got white. Orange and a blue outline instead of white, like the original, and orange face band. I like it. Bring that out. That's sweet. Buffalo Bills, that's pretty damn sweet right there. I mean, Buffalo Bills, you figure with the year they came out with the red helmets way back in like 88. I can't remember what year they came out with the red helmets. This is sweet. I like it. Bring it. Blue, red buffalo, blue stripe, and then, yeah, bring that shit out. Much better than white helmets or the red helmets, actually. The Jets, not too much you can do with the Jets, you know? Uh, they got the NY there and just some white flames, I guess, like be like an afterburn for, for a jet. Not too much you can do there. But yeah, they could pair them right there. Jets with the football, that looks gay as fuck. I like the white helmets better than that green helmets. Uh, Back in the old days, didn't they have a football and it said Jets inside the football, the white football? I think that's what they had. 
I can't remember. The green, white football, Jets. This one's Jets. Uh, that looks horrible. This one looks pretty damn nice compared to that. I next the Vikings has purple helmet with a yellow horn. Not bad. Right here. A black outline around the horn instead of white. So that kind of, yeah. Say, I hate to see what they have for the Washington football team, but hopefully we get there if they have anything. Uh, the Saints, nice. There is a Washington football team. The Washington football team, horrible. Why would you change the name for the Redskins? Most Indians love that. That's their favorite team. It represents them, you yeah? know, Redskins. I don't even know what the hell they're going to call themselves in the future. It's stupid. Anyhow, the Cleveland Indians are changing their name, and they already got a new name. It's called the Cleveland Guardians. So to me, Gar Indians. All right, next we got, oh, so there's a, not with a number on it, 99. I mean, well, there's an alternate helmet of that one, basically. I mean, it's not much difference. Redskins. Uh, Seahawks. Uh, not really nothing spectacular. It's the same color schemes, the same as Seahawk. Uh, the Browns, that's not too bad, yeah. Darker brown helmet instead of the orange helmets. Uh, orange number, the orange stripes of brown in the center, a little bit of white on the outside. I like it. Yeah, sweet. Not bad. Come out with that shit. That would be pretty good. I like that dark brown. You're the browns. You're not the oranges. Insinuate the brown more. Yeah. The New York Football Giants. They actually have New York Football in there. Giants. Which is kind of stupid because back in the old days, that's why they called it the New York Football Giants. Because the San Francisco Giants used to be in New York. They were the New York Baseball Giants. And they were the New York Football Giants. So... Here's your history lesson. Miami Dolphins, whatever you do with the helmets, Miami is apparently not going to help them win. You might as well bring Dan Marino back and maybe some running backs from the 70s and then maybe they might win. Next we have, uh, I mean it looks a lot better than that one, but I mean what can you do about the Dolphins, right? Next, we have the Philadelphia Eagles flying high. Not bad, but the wings are a lot smaller than they usually are. Makes them look like a smaller team. All right. Uh, the Kansas City Chiefs. Not bad. I'm going to show you. Oh, okay. There we go. So, yeah, there's Patrick Mahomes. We can only imagine his head in that thing. Uh, Patrick Mahomes, I think, is done, though. He was a nice... He's kind of like a, a little bit better than the Cowboys quarterback, uh, whatever the hell his name is. I mean, his first year, rookie year, he did all right. Everybody's like, wow, that's a new Cowboy hope. But apparently not. Patrick Mahomes had a couple more good years than uh, the guy the Cowboys had. So I think he's not going to be as, you know, he, he, he's a good athletic guy, but those type of quarterbacks do not last long in the NFL. Trust me. Unless he adapts and overcomes, stay in the pocket. Because those quarterbacks scrambling around and shit, basically their legs are what they used to be, and then he's not a true pocket quarterback. He can't stay in the pocket. I mean, he might be good in the pocket for all I know, staying back here passing. But he's more of a scrambler quarterback, so we'll see what happens in the future. You never know. San Francisco, I mean, what can you, good can you do with that? I mean... You might as well put Nancy Pelosi as your logo on there. The Bears, I like it. Not bad. It'd be a good alternative helmet. I would even make the C's on the original helmet bigger like that one, too. The Las Vegas Raiders. Stupid. But it don't even look like Raiders, but... It is in a different city again, and 
separates you from the original Oakland Raiders. Unlike the lot when they moved to Los Angeles at one time, it still had the same logo and everything. So that kind of separates them. That'd be a good alternative. I like it. Maybe put a skull on uh, the football guy in there somehow. The football guy with a patch. Right next, New England Patriots. Eh. Not bad. I can't tell if that's white or silver. Okay, I'm doing a beer review and we're talking about football helmets. <laughs> it's pretty cool though. Uh, let's see, going on to the next one. We got the Patriots there. Hey, there's Tom Brady. He's with the Bucks now. It looks more white, so I guess. Here comes the Steelers. Like they had in the promo picture for this article, so not bad. I like it. No red or blue diamonds in there, but that's okay. I originally got the yellow, red, and blue. Oh, you got yellow, white, yellow. Yeah, pretty cool though. I would leave it the yellow. Maybe it didn't look good with the, without that white background. Maybe it didn't look good with the yellow, red, blue. Next, Green Bay Packers. Pretty nice, actually. My friend Jose would love that. Uh, he loves the Packers. I think he would like that. Pretty cool. Dallas Cowboys. And not bad. I don't know what's up with that circle with the white. Uh, but not bad. Okay. Still gray on it. Well, yeah, still a grayish helmet. Blue, blue star still in. Got the extra circle behind it and the white. So, not bad, I guess. That'd be cool. It wouldn't bother me at all. All right, well, that was it. The football helmets. Oh, excuse me. I am getting tired. All right, that was pretty fun. Now, back to the beer. God, I didn't even drink. I've been looking at all those. Football helmets. We're 27 minutes in. I'm going to go ahead and give this a grade. Yeah, not bad. You know, like most adjunct loggers, I can't give it a super high grade unless it's really spectacular. Wow, this is a really good beer. Uh, I'd probably give it a C plus and a swallow. Uh, nice and drinkable, refreshing. It does have a little bit of that cardboard taste, which I don't like. But it's not overwhelming, so it's drinkable with that. Like that kind of a red stripe taste. You know, Caribbean, Hispanic country, most of it. A little bit Hispanic, Caribbean flair you know, to it. Not bad. I like it way better than Corona. I actually think I like it better. I used to like those Ekes more, but I think they changed their formula over the years or something. I don't know. So I do love Modelo. It's my favorite Mexican beer, actually, at this point. And I loved all their uh, chilada. The mango, regular chilada, the lime chilada. All great. Uh... Dolly's in here falling asleep. Don't go to sleep too early. Don't sleep. Uh, well, I guess that'll do it. I mean, I usually finish my beers, but Dolly, I can get her out of here and get her awake because she go to bed this early. She'll be up all night. Well, she's laying in her little bed right here. Well, another horrible three beer reviews. At least I got to spend some time with my brother on one of them, the first one. But he started way too early today. And, yeah, hopefully he's sleeping like a baby now. All right, we'll see you all in the next one. Uh, this is the last one for tonight. Shag Dog, Modelo. 
Uh, if you've never had it, try it. Um, unbeknownst to most of our fans, if you made it this far through the video, I may be moving out of state. Not really sure yet. Uh, but maybe myself and Jammer, we might be able to do one more beer review before I move. I might be moving. I'm not really positive yet. I'm not sure what I'm doing. Uh, I do live with certain people, and they're moving out of the state. And I, I could stay here, but I, I'm not really set yet to live on my own. Been recovering from a bad financial disaster from 2018, and I had lung surgery the same year, so it's like a big fiasco. Then with COVID, I didn't work for four months, so there's another fiasco. I dipped into my savings account, lived off my savings account for four months, so there went my savings account. Uh, one fiasco after the other, not summer beer fiascos, but regular life fiascos. So I'm not sure what I'm doing right now. Uh, I can. Jammer and my brother Diddy told me I could probably stay with them so I get you know a couple months till I get settled because in a couple months I might be all right but I'm just not sure you know I don't want to I hate imposing on other people uh, you know plus my brother has only a certain amount of rooms and he's got kids and yeah I, I just don't know what I'm doing so I'm probably moving. So me and Jammer might get one more live year review together. I'll try to visit next year, once a year, come down here. Because my brother will still be here, so I have to visit my brother, right? And I have to visit Jammer because he's my buddy. So kill two birds with one stone. I visit them both at the same time, right? Uh, I might move back down this way. I'm not sure what the situation is going to be up in that area. I don't know what the hell I'm going to do. But we'll see. The beer review will carry on, needless to say, because we could always do live videos like this. We might not be able to get the same exact beers, but maybe the same beer style. Hey, Jam, what do you got there? Oh, I'm drinking this. Hey, that's good, because I got an adjunct lager, too. It's called Modelo. <laughs> you know, stuff like that. I don't know how we're going to do it. I don't even know if the state I'm moving to, if they even have their own craft beer. If I had a little bit more money, I could probably stay here. I could have actually I had a really nice house the other day. I was like, God, if I only had enough to get that, you know, in cash, you know, it's not, yeah, whatever. Anyhow, I'm not going to bring you down with my depressing stuff. Um, Shag, you know what? We got to finish this beer. You can't leave the beer with a full beer, right? We're going to down it. Oh. What is this? Age is an issue of mind or matter. If you don't mind, it doesn't matter. Mark Twain. That's true. Who the hell are all these people? Oh. Yeah, there's my... I'll share this screen if I share this picture. Ah, shit. I don't want all the comments on there. How can I... Okay, I can make a video. All right. Uh, share screen. Share screen. I don't know which one it is. Eh, I think it's on our Facebook. Let's check. Yeah, so that is my brother who passed away 10 years ago. He was in the law enforcement field. Got the 21 gun salute, all that. Uh, kind of jealous myself because I, I would never have a funeral like that or even a death like that. He died in the hospice. Uh, he had terminal colon cancer. He was diagnosed about about three and a half months before his death that he had 
at first they thought it was stage two colon cancer, but then they came back a week or two later. Oh no, it's in your liver too. You have stage four colon cancer. Uh, three and a half months. So he tried the best he could to fight it. Went through the chemo, had radiation treatments. Uh, the, the tumor itself did shrink down, but I think the chemo really messed him up really bad. He went from being a big, strong, husky guy to like really weak and small. Um, I think about three and a half weeks before he died, they told him, well, you have because of his liver enzymes that it stopped the chemo in June. You don't know what's going on. But stage four colon cancer, just like stage four most cancers, is pretty terminal. If you're lucky, you'll last five years. If you're unlucky, well, actually, if you're really lucky, hopefully you fall on your, you know, anyhow. Uh, so they told me I had three to four weeks to live, or two to four weeks to live at one point on July, I forget what it was, July 9th, July 13th, there's a memorial, like right, or not memorial, uh, benefit by cried for him. So that's when he broke the news to the family. We gave him two to four weeks to live. He made it about three and a half weeks. Uh, one night, the night before he died, he something happened to him. I guess he just couldn't breathe, didn't wake up. He did wake up, but they took him to the hospice. You know, when you have a liver can or colon cancer, it spreads the liver. That's where he had you know, stage four metastasis or whatever, metastasized the liver. Your pneumonia, what the hell was that? Uh, pneumonia, or uh, whatever, ammonia starts going to your brain. Which, so he was supposedly acting weird or whatever. It's, it's a hospital, tell me I love him, all that kind of stuff. You know, he's a little coherent, so. But then after that, that night, that day, that he wanted to go to the hospice, so the, the hospital released him. You know, he probably wasn't going to make it. Sent him to hospice that afternoon. He didn't get to the hospice till like noon or one o'clock in the afternoon. He was at the hospital since like nine o'clock at night the previous night. Uh, he passed away, but one of the things is not too many people will ever have this when they're dying is to have almost not everybody, but a lot of people from your workplace coming in the hospice. Uh, he worked state corrections for Florida. Everybody that got off day shift, four o'clock, the shift ended at four, they came to see him. People that were midnight workers, some of them, not too many, a couple of them came to see him. Uh, people that were four o'clock to midnight, they came to see him before they went to work. You know, it was like, there were so many correction officers there, it was crazy. Um, I, I was a little upset that day because between my mother, my brother, my stepfather, and myself, his wife and his kids, the kids didn't go in there to see him any other wife. Uh, we didn't get to spend enough, much time with him because a lot of people were coming in. Uh, it was a very horrible day watching somebody die and I'm going through the process of dying. Uh, it's not very easy. Uh, horrible day, just memories of it and everything now. So, but he had one of the biggest turnouts for somebody dying that you could ever imagine. So many people came in there that day it's to say goodbye to him. And then his funeral was pretty big too. Usually most, if you're in the Department of Corrections in Florida, a lot of correction officers will come from different institutions. Yeah. But his is a big turnout from being somebody that died of a disease. You know, most times it's the big turnout like that. Somebody got killed by a offender or a tragic car accident or something while they're on duty or something you know, or going home or from work. You know. He had a pretty big turnout there too. So he, you know, big turnout. And that's him right there with his, uh, I don't know why that's showing there. James Bandy, maybe. Why is James Bandy showing? Oh, because he sent me a message. Okay, get James Bandy out there. Jesus, he, that guy ruins everything. <laughs> yeah, so that was his thing. His wife and kids have it. 
Uh, probably me or my younger brother should have that because you know, his kids don't even respect him. His kids were like 14 and 11 when he died. His youngest daughter was his, was his treasure. Uh, but she was brainwashed and to pretty much hate him because when his birthday a few years ago, I was a little upset by her post on Facebook. His birthday a couple years ago, uh, probably about 2018. So she was probably about, God, I don't know, 19 years old, somewhere around there. Uh, on his Facebook, she's like, I know it's my dad's birthday, but I want to take this time to wish to thank my mom for making me who the, into the woman I am today. Which really offended me. I'm like, this is your dad. I rarely see you guys saying happy Father's Day or happy birthday to your dad. Anyhow, on your dad's birthday, you're going to say, it's my dad's birthday today, but I want to take this time to thank my mother. And so your mother has her birthday and her mother's day. Don't take your dad's time away. You want to thank your fucking mother for making you into the woman you are today. Do that on your mother's fucking Facebook page around Mother's Day or her birthday. Fuck it. And right then and there, I knew she was brainwashed by her mother. Because every boyfriend she had verbally abused her. And supposedly her mother still to her that my brother brainwashed or not brainwashed, uh, a verbally abuser. And I'll admit it, my brother wasn't the nicest person. He was bossy. Get me this, shut your mouth. It's type of stuff like that. He wasn't the nicest guy, but he was that way before she married him. So if she didn't like that, she shouldn't have fucking married him. So that's all I got to say about that. Don't brainwash your kids into hating her. You know, she was 11 years old when he died. You know, brainwash your kids into hating her father, which she loved her father and he loved her. And now he ain't nothing but a distant memory to her. You know, it's really sad. Same with the son, too. Oh, well. I'll probably have to edit this video. But anyhow. Uh, I'm not sure what Jammer was sending me. What was Jammer sending me? Let's see. Make sure nothing's out of view. Man, I'm doing a beer review and getting sentimental and you're sending me stuff. Interrupted my beer review. Shouldn't you be in bed by now? Anyhow, I'm sorry to go on that rampage. I'll probably have to edit all that out. I don't give a fuck if uh, my niece or nephew sees it or my sister-in-law. I give a fuck at this point. I haven't talked to them in a while anyhow because my nephew, one time he had some Chinese communist shit on his Facebook. This is when the Wuhan, Wuhan virus, COVID-19, the Chinese, China virus first came out and he posted some shit about you know, over there in Wuhan, they got two new hospitals because Chinese government cares about their, this was back in January 2020, Chinese government cares about their people. Unlike the American government, don't give a shit about the American people. I was like, what the fuck? And I knew he was had to be China communist. Anyhow, because uh, years before that, he put a picture of Stalin in his Facebook photo. And I'm like, what the fuck are you putting that guy on there? You know, he killed millions of his own people. You know? He'd kill you in a fucking heartbeat if you didn't agree with him. You know? And at that point, he said, I'm sorry, Uncle Shag Dog. And deleted it. But then... Uh, the day of the question when I, the Wuhan shit, but that was in January 2020, and Christmas of 2019, 
Uh, he was at my parents' house, his grandparents, and he was going on and on about how China was so great, China this and China that. And I came, I asked my mother, and she said, oh yeah, him and his sister were here until midnight, and Harry just kept going on and on about China. Or he just kept going on and on about China. Like, what the hell is wrong? And then with a Chinese comment, I was like, oh, fuck. What the hell's wrong with you? He's like, what the fuck's wrong with you? I was like, man, you got fucking uncles, grandparents, great-grandparents that were in the military, fought for this country, and you're on here talking about how China treats their people better than the American government. He goes, wow. I said, even your dad was in the Army. He's like, first of all, you and Uncle Pat put my dad in a pedestal. He used to beat me and verbally abuse my mom. I was like, what? He's like, yeah, so get off my feed, homie. I was like, homie. I said, what, y'all gangster now? Anyhow, I was like, all right, I get off your feed. And then about 10 minutes later, I guess he called my mother. And I'm like, you know, what the hell? And he's, but he was going on about, yeah, dad used to beat me. And he could. If he couldn't beat up an inmate at work, he'd come home and take it out on me. And he used to verbally abuse mom and don't walk, don't walk me, because mom's here, right here, listening. Right, she's behind me listening. I was like, what the fuck? And I was like, and of course my mother got some days mixed up. She's seventy-two years old, you know, or whatever, mixed up something about something that he said. Uh, she got the time and dates mixed up. Or she's trying to explain something. But she's like, you never told me that your dad beat you. And your mother never told me that you beat you. You never had any black eyes or bruises that I seen. So you're, I would have said, I don't think my mother said it, but I would have said, your mother's a bad mother for not reporting him or telling me because my mother would have whooped his ass if she found out that he was like beating him bad or something. You know? But I think my brother just, you know, the type of person backhand, you know, talking smack, whatever. I don't think my brother was going home from work. I didn't get to beat up any inmates, so I'm not gonna beat up my son type shit. That's like ridiculous. I never saw that kid with a black eye, bruise, or anything ever. Uh, I don't know. Anyhow. I'm sorry to spew out my whole fucking family business to you, but oh well, I don't give a fuck. Let me just say that was 20, January 2020. I haven't talked to my nephew, my niece, or my sister in law since then. Um, my, the nephew in question, I've seen him maybe twice out in public. And one time I was like, hey, how's it going? And he's like, sir. They say that's hey Uncle Shane or another, so I'm like, oh okay, so it's still like that, right? So I, I didn't say nothing else to him, but that's okay. If he wants to hate his dad, that's fine with me. He's 24 years old still, well, <laughs> still living at home. <laughs> Now, I'm living at home back in my current. I, I used to I join the Army for six years. I was out on my own for like 15 years, whatever, after the Army. I had a fi big financial fiasco with the previous ex, and I had lung surgery and moved in with my parents. I didn't think I'd be here that long, but because of the lung surgery stuff, and yeah, so I am still with my parents, but yeah, I'm planning on getting back out. How am I on again? Anyhow, by the time I, well, I was trying to say this when I was 24, 25, I was out by the time I was 19. Here he is, 24, 25, still living with his mother, working in a restaurant. He didn't tell her the day my brother died that he, don't worry, mom, I'll never leave you. I'm going to take care of you. And he's still with her, so, because kept his promise. Oh boy.
Uh, the post was a jammer. I thought it was a jammer fan. Man, I'm doing beer reviews, getting sentimental and stuff, and you're sending me stuff, interrupting my beer review, because I had my Facebook up. Anyhow, hope you're doing well. <laughs> Sorry, I was supposed to be going to Jammer. He sent me a message, and somehow when I went to reply back, I got back at your page. Sorry, Jammer fan. Uh, I should be going back out to work tomorrow, Jammer. Tell you. Anywho. But that was kind of weird because I had all that shit missing. Man, I'm doing beer reviews, getting sentimental and stuff, and you're sending me and stuff. And it my beer because I had my Facebook up. Anyhow, hope you're doing well. What's really funny is uh, before I sent that last message, I sent it to Jammerfan by accident. Somehow I got on his page. And so, man, I'm trying to do beer reviews, and you're sending me messages bothering me while I'm getting sentimental doing beer reviews. And... <laughs> so, that's pretty funny. How can we be lovers if we can't be friends? How can we stop fighting when the fighting never ends? This was another long beer review. It took me 50 minutes to drink this shit. I, I've been talking a lot, showing videos, talking about family, private stuff. Holy fuck. Oh, hold on. I'm going to turn my mic off for a second. This is private. Cam mic. Can I mute it somehow? Can I mute my mic? Uh, shit. I don't know how to mute my mic. Oh, well. I guess I won't need it. How can we be lovers if we can be friends? I'll type it. I think David, uh, Jammer fan, is messing me.
Her? I think it was her. Oh shit. All right, dogs. Thanks for jump, camera fan comment comment back to me. Uh, I gotta chug this down and get off this video. P Diddy. Might not. Let me... Alright, let's do this with PB. Good girl. All right, y'all. Shag dolls rocking. I got man, these videos are so long. Nobody in the right mind is gonna watch them. Are you down? But shag dogs, couldn't swallow beer review. We'll see you sometime in the near future. Uh, either me, Diddy, me, Jammer. And if it's not live, it's going to be via this because I might be moving out of state. Uh, but that's okay. I might be staying in the state too. I'm not really sure what I'm doing. Oh, I probably won't know until like the last minute. So uh, I'm just trying to live. I'm 50 years old almost. I mean, I ain't got much time anyhow. If I'm lucky, I got 15 years. If I'm really lucky, I have, you know, 20, 25, 30 years. I'm just trying to live, relax. I, I probably should exercise more, get a little bit of gut on me. I was exercising for seven months, or seven months, seven weeks, doing those strenuous exercise, but I hurt my foot and then it transferred to my leg and I've been having leg and foot problems ever since. I went walking the other day for 30 minutes. My foot was feeling a little bit better, so I went walking that day and then it started up again. So it's like, fuck. Uh, but I'd like to thank all of our viewers over the years for watching, subscribing, commenting, and liking. And I'm going to go ahead and get the hell off here. I might have to edit this video tomorrow if I can. Shag dog, spit or swallow beer, be see you on the next one.